Welcome, everyone. I'm here with Dan Gentry, CEO of Third Power Performance. His expertise helping high achievers to achieve more, to accomplish more in life, to balance, to be better professionals and better human beings. Welcome, Dan. And tell me how everything started, because at some point in your life, you were not there. You were in this place of frustration, and he laughed. <laughs> that is an understatement. Uh, when I first started this, I was in the corporate world, and I was working really, really hard, and yeah, I, was, I was super focused on my career. You know, some would say myopically focused on my career. <clears throat> and I remember the day that it kind of hit me. I had gone out to Denver and was out there checking emails and all of that, and I realized that life was out of balance because I was sitting in this office on the 11th floor in downtown Denver, and when I came back in after getting a cup of coffee, I realized that there were these beautiful mountains there. There was this, I mean, absolutely gorgeous scene in front of me, and I hadn't seen it. I was so focused on email and, you know, work and all of that, and it, it really hit me, and I had to kind of stop and, and you know, close the computer and just kind of sit back and really take a look at my life and evaluate every part of it. And I realized that the only part of me that was really doing well was my career. Everything else was falling apart. And that doesn't feel very good. And there is another, there is a song that you like very much. And actually, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask him to sing a little bit because he's a great singer. But it's a song that is sad because of the message. What is the song and what is what you learn from it? Let's sing a little bit first. <laughs> the song is the Cats in the Cradle. My child arrived just the other day, came to the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. Yes, you know, the Cats in the Cradle and the Silver Spoon. And, you know, it, it talks about a guy having a child, but being so busy and so focused on his career that he missed out on him growing up. And when he became old and retired, now he wanted to see his son, but his son couldn't see him because he was doing that same exact thing and, you know, working and he didn't have time for his dad. And that cycle just kind of continues. And for me, that's why I do what I do is to try to stop that particular cycle. You know, if, if I can make it so that, you know, no father ever has to hear cats in the cradle and get tears in their eyes, then I have succeeded in what I'm doing. So it looks to me like you have received messages in different moments of your life, but you listen and you took action. So when you had this epiphany in Denver, when you had this song really touching your life, what did you do? You were able to create a system that now works and helps for others. Yes. You know, my background was software engineering. You know, basically, I took business problems and looked for the patterns and set up a system to solve that problem. So I took that same expertise into my own life. And, you know, I'd been studying self-improvement stuff for years. And I'm like, there's got to be a way, find the pattern, find the way to make it work so that you can achieve life balance and also achieve the, the things in, in life that you need. You know, success in today's world, you, you have to make the money. You, you have to have the material success. But that can't be everything. You've got to also have life balance and, and be able to have family and friends and all of the, the really, I call it the juice of life. And success looks different for every single person. So your main point is that people know where they are going, right? Finding that purpose in life. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you need to know why are you here? What are you doing? What's, what's your purpose in life? And then be making sure that all of the things that you're doing are leading you in that direction. Because, you know, it's so easy to get caught in the, you know, I, I call it the hamster wheel of life. You know, you're just going around and around and around and not making any progress. So you need to know where you're going. Why are you here? And what do you really want out of life so that you can be heading towards it? Dan, and it's really true that balance exists, or that's a myth? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, because I'll have people, a lot of people come up to me and say, you know, I tell them I, I work with life balance. Oh, God, I need that. How do you, how do you get life balance? And a lot of times, I'll, you know, I kind of surprise them and say, well, the reality is life balance doesn't exist. Yeah, there, there is no absolute balance. 
what you need to do is find an equilibrium that works with you because you know you're going to have days where life is out of balance and even weeks where life is out of balance and as long as you do it on purpose you're okay it's the problem when you're out of balance and you're not on purpose and you're just doing the same things over and over again you know when i cuz there are times even now when i'm out of balance on you know, on purpose. You know, I'm working extra hard right now to build up this business because I know my game plan is to have more time for all of the things that are important in life. And what I'm doing now helps me get there. So what are a couple of things? If you could give me three key things that people can start doing right away, what do it will be? Well, I would say first is, is stop. <laughs> It's just ta take, take a deep breath, And really think about why are you here and what makes you happy? What, what, what are the gifts that you are here to give in life? And, you know, then take a look at what you do and how can you adjust what you do just a little bit by taking little actions to help head you in that direction towards that, that goal. So it's a small things. It doesn't have to be huge. You, nobody's asking you to quit your job or to change your Absolutely not. nothing. It's just a small thing, but being very aware of doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, in life, it's like health. You know, eating an apple a day instead of a donut a day. It's not a huge task. It's little things, but headed in the direction that you want to go that make all the difference. Dan, one last message that you would like to share with our viewers, because you have been impacting the lives of many people, entrepreneurs, leaders, executives in so many levels, speaking and coaching. One last message that you would like to give them to encourage them that everything is possible and they have everything in their power to do it. Well, just get started. Yeah, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, you know, I know that's cliche, but it's very true. Just start now. It's never too late. You know, I've talked to many people and they feel like, well, you know, I'm in my 50s and, you know, it's, it's too late. No, it's never too late. You start now and you can make a major impact in your life. And because a lot of times we need that hand along the way and we need someone to be part of the journey, it's also good to have them contact you in case they have questions, how they can be in contact with you. Absolutely. Uh, the easiest way is go to my website. It's uh, thirdpowerperformance.com. Very good. So Life on Purpose, Dan Gentry, CEO of Third Power Performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.